Watch it there, do you look at the watch there also? It's not the Eiffel Tower. Sky behind you guys. Uh, Ils sont attachés à lui bien avant qu'il devienne célèbre et qu'ils sont restés euh, proches de lui. Et, euh, um, I mean, this is an honor to have uh, Peter and Roger and Julie uh, here. Uh, this movie took five years, of, uh, five years to make.
give us a little insight um, into the show. And I was just going to invite you to make sure you have something to drink if you don't already. When these photos arrived in my living room, I thought, what's good, what's art, what's not, what's going to sell? But that's another thing. So without further ado, I introduce Baxter. Thank you. Note the name of Elena Ragon for the atmosphere that she conveys in her photo. And I also like the, the work of Lauren Amlani for her capture of the, the, the bush in Africa. No. Mm. 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 I think we've entered the realm, of, I think with a lot of the discussion about the pictures, we've entered the realm of the subjective. A lot of it depends on individual tastes. I think, because my background is more in music, mm. and I know that from what I understand of music, there's certain principles that you talk about theme, you talk about technique. I think there's certain things that when you respect certain things, a certain format, there's a, there's a bit of a universality in the in the appreciation of images and art in general. But then afterwards, it just it's wide open. Capturing that, the uniqueness of the moment, whereas just the, you know, like, and I, without, without trying to criticize any of the works, I think they're all fantastic, and I, I do take pictures myself, I'm not a photographer, but, you know, some of the pictures, you know, I could have maybe found it in National Geographic, you know? And, and it's, there's something which is a bit too, Universal about them. They're just they're they are just the framework. There is nothing. There's no story being told in a way, and that's kind of what I thought about most of them. It's a scene of snow. Uh, if it leaves you cold, sure. did the artist fail in her emotional objective? I would say no. Winter is cold. It's a depiction. Oh, this is a very technical. No, I understand. No, no, no. I understand. I'm not. I'm not completely disagreeing. I'm just saying. In that respect, I don't think that the picture is, is a failure or something because it's technically <laughs> masterful. And I don't think that it's emotionally dead either. It's a subject of the, of the, of the show in this case. The last time was Paris, this time is... Uh, so in this case, all, mm -hmm. the, all the photographers, they're looking for a subject, right? They're looking for to, to resolve what their emotional need in one, in one shoot. Yeah. Yeah. In that case, the winter, uh, the winter dome, that is an, emo an emotional need. You know, the person who was shooting that picture had an emotional need, like romanticism. And then, you know, in one second, the side of the death was that emotional need, that death will resolve. You know? Underwhelmed and sort of disappointed when I see a picture is blurry. You know, it's so easy to, like, take pictures that are sharp. You just, um, it should never preclude um, creative and emotional skills, being able to communicate sort of the atmosphere and the mood and ambiance. Doing filmmaking, and you look through the camera, and I'll shoot all kinds of stuff, but I wait. When I see a moment, that's when I grab it and I shoot that and I know I've ca captured something. A moment happens, usually a split second. If you don't grab it, it's gone. And just moments of people How much interacting. Does luck have to do with it? Well, a lot to do with it. You know. I mean, you have to, you have, it's, it's luck, but you also have, you have to be ready. You have to be prepared for opportunities when they arise. And they, they usually happen when you least expect it. I'll tell you exactly why. It's because the bottom of the swimming pool is a Cartesian grid, <coughs> and because of the quality of the light and, look and the surface skin. of the water, <laughs> it's been completely <laughs> broken. Continue on, and, and thank you again for coming. Thank you. And, um, thank you. Really, I'm, I'm really happy to, to, <laughs> to, to have this kind of feedback, because, you know, at, at, at Vernissage, there's tons of people, and there's not a kind of uh, ability, a uh, time or, um, yes, opportunity to, to talk to open discussion among everybody all at the same time, usually.